Gran Turismo series has always had a special place on the show floor for Sony, with ultra-realistic cars showing off bleeding-edge PlayStation visuals with speed and shine. Internally developed and tailored to all the strengths of the system, Gran Turismo 5 looks like it's definitely up to the task. And while the final game could be a ways off, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue will let players go for a test drive well before the final game is available. Currently available in Japan by download or on a disc, Prologue isn't quite a full game, but it's much more than a simple demo. The game's slick and modern front end is known as My Page, and from here you'll have access to all the game's content. This hub screen features your current vehicle, a menu, and a calendar to track racing events. If you're online, you'll get info on real-world weather conditions for tracks around the world. You can visit dealers to check out showrooms or check out various events on offer. Event races basically make up the game's career mode, where you can earn credits and add to your virtual garage, but arcade mode is always there when you want to start a race with minimal setup. Of course, the real focus of the Gran Turismo series is the cars. Fans of the series will find exactly what they expect, machines that look good and have their own distinct feel. You might start with fairly modest machines like the Suzuki Swift or an Integra Type R, but you aren't limited to entry-level performance in Prologue. With enough work, you can work your way up to cars with the beastly performance to match their beastly price tag. The Japanese version of Prologue offers 37 vehicles, but Sony claims the US version will have more. This means we can expect 60 machines to race on the five tracks at 60 frames per second with up to 16 drivers simultaneously racing online via the PlayStation Network. Prologue puts up some nice numbers. What's genuinely new? A graphics and physics tweak is expected with the jump to new technology. But the game's new in-cockpit view, which actually models the dashboard instrument panels and hands on the wheel, is a substantial addition that lets the game show off the interior and exterior. It may not be the most effective racing view, but it might be the most exhilarating. Meanwhile, an improvement to driver AI gives computer-controlled racers slightly more convincing behavior, letting them react to your presence rather than simply seeking the ideal line. Another addition to the series that's completely separate from the gameplay is Gran Turismo TV, an online feature that's another way the game extends its love of all things automotive. Here you can check out worldwide motorsport programming including special features and behind the scenes looks at vehicles or events. While the full version of Gran Turismo 5 still doesn't have an official release date, it's interesting that this tease is being tested in North America. Despite only being half a game, you'll still need to shell out 40 bucks to get the early look for yourself. Fans likely have already made up their minds, but it'll be interesting to see if it resonates with those with only a passing interest.